It's Jordy. My name. I have nothing to do with the name Richard. Why do you stay silent for so long? You should be engaging to get more, more your viewer count up. But kill him. And I, I look over and I try to react to something, but I don't want to jump in on somebody else's conversation. Wings, wings never changes. Since the dawn of Richard, he has been crying and blaming all of his life's problems on anything but himself, due to narcissism and gluttony. Years on. Richard's life has become an uninhabitable abyss of Pepsi Cola and Wendy's chili boxes. It was in this modular home Wings was born, and it is here that Wings will die, because in Trailer 101, no one ever enters and no one ever leaves, because Wings, Wings never changes. Yeah, we're gonna ignore that. <clears throat> this game just gives you tons of free money. It's hard to beat New Vegas for story. I love the Legion way too much. I feel like the Legion was like very underutilized in New Vegas. Like you could tell like they skimped on their quest lines. I've never seen the mole rats be fighting there before. I think that has to do with like the faster load times. Go get him dog meat. Why do you stay silent for so long? You should be engaging to get more, more your viewer count up, but kill him. And I, I look over and I try to react to something, but I don't want to jump in on somebody else's conversation. So you're saying that uh, Fallout 4's combat's worse because of armor durability? Like, for the most part, armor durability doesn't even matter in the game. Welcome back, dog meat. I needed your help just a second ago. Windboy Life, thank you for the dollar. Thank you for the first super chat, too. No one said they... It's a good thing I got higher explosives. I don't think I'm gonna push all the way through here. Once we get to the end, I'm just gonna backtrack, because, like, once you get to the end, you get, end up in Georgetown, and it's hard to get away from all those super mutants. I guess that's true. I think game mods definitely make New Vegas a better game, especially with the weapon wheel. What do you mean, the weapon wheel? I mean, it already technically has a weapon wheel. I like the followers in New Vegas better. I love that New Vegas followers give you experience regardless if you get the kill or not, or if you damage or not. Or Fallout, this game, you have to uh, you have to do a percentage of damage on them for it to actually matter. See, Boone can hit, can't hit, can hit anything. It all depends on his gun skill. Like, Boone gets better once you give him, like, an anti-material rifle toward the end of the game. But, like, like I've always said, like, Raul with the right perk and the survivalist rifle, best companion in the game. Kaz is also a really good companion with the survival rifle. Uh, Super Swamp Gaming. I don't have a partnership on Twitch anymore, and it's easy to get banned on Twitch. You always turn Kaz into the Van Graffs, <coughs> but Kaz can get 100% guns faster than Boone can, so why would you do that? Like, Kaz, you can use alcohol and feel none of the side effects of it. You don't get addicted to it. You don't, there's no negative penalties, so you can just use it as a buff anytime you want. Good hunting. It's Jordy. My name, I have nothing to do with the name Richard. Are you gonna go down to Diamond City? I mean, Diamond City's not in this game. Capital City. Eventually. Mm. What you do is just don't damage anybody. Come right here. As long as you don't kill anything in the area, you're good. Fox is too OP in this game. Fox. I mean, like, almost every companion can be overpowered in Fallout 3, 4. <clears throat> not so much, I mean, I mean, 3 in New Vegas. Not so much 4. Like, I feel like the strongest, like, so companion in 4 could be, uh, strong. <gasps> Companion makes these games way too easy. It's already an easy game. Yeah, I'm playing on the highest difficulty right now, and it's like, it's not that big of a deal. Oh! Good enough. Uh, I'm on level 115 on Fallout 76. Here we're gonna play. <coughs> <coughs> nah, not really. How would you rate the Fallout games 1 through 10? Like, each Fallout game is different. There's a lot, there's some shitty ones like Brotherhood of Steel. And like, the first game is really, really short. Fallout, I mean, like, you want me to give like an in depth rating, like, off the cuff. That's so hard to do, man. What's the hardest part of your day today? I don't really want to talk about hardest part of my day, man. I'm sorry. How would I rank the Souls games best to worst? Like, objectively? Or like, in my personal opinion? Because those are two different lists. I, I think, like, objectively, it's three, it's three, one, two. But in my opinion, I like Dark Souls 2 the best. So mine would be two, three, one. Even though I play one more than most, 
but like one has the advantage of being um, very good for like a first time playthrough. Do the thing with Bethesda games is you can make some serious scratch if you want to. It's a crime. Duck and cover. <clears throat> hey, Jordy. And the members, I guess the other people too, okay? Yeah, it's just an area loot everything, sell it, repeat. I remember correctly, he has a magazine, no? Yeah. I love Elden Ring. I can't wait for the DLC to come out for it. Do I not have the uh, assault rifle hotkeyed? I know there's no nuclear shelter in Conway that I know of. I'm sure some backwater person might might have some, but not really anybody here. Wasn't there like a little fishing hut off to the side here? <clears throat> Did I ever play Metro Exodus? I played a little bit of it, but not enough to actually get a grasp of what it's about. I haven't liked Xbox for a long time. The 360 is good. But the one in issue I was so bad I just stopped buying Xbox. That's what happened with me. Like the Xbox One was so bad I went straight to PlayStation. <coughs> oh, I quit fucking with McDonald's breakfast when um they started uh bullshitting with the uh fucking bagels. Playing with this game on PC with the controller. I'm playing on the Xbox 360. Technically Xbox Series S. Draco loves the Xbox. Motherfucker like sleeps next to it. I, I probably need to take that to big screen. He like sleeps next to the shit. Want to play COD? I mean, I, I kind of do, yeah. <clears throat> I gotta wait though. Gotta wait. <clears throat> kind of want to play Halo too. <clears throat> Halo Infinite. <clears throat> oh, my voice is going. We could also heal ourselves up by sleeping. I'm 10 times better at Halo. I doubt that. Like, I go negative some games in Halo. <clears throat> hey, Wings, can I team up with you some search? I don't have access to Call of Duty right now, man. If, if not, if, if if I if I did, we could play some search, yeah. All right, there's 500 bottle caps. There's a big book of science up here somewhere. It's in one of the offices. Braxo makes Nuka-Cola grenades, <clears throat> which are the bee's knees. The upper floor has been searched. I feel like there's a lack of hand grenades though <clears throat> in, the, in the early portion of this game. Like I've been using them pretty liberally, but like, I don't know. Maybe I need to be shopping for them more. I'll reach out. <clears throat> Please tell me that he didn't put points in charisma. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. It's almost pointless, but I did put points in charisma. You know, I might actually watch that football game. You guys cleaned them out. Good, good. Nothing like some free Raiders stuff. I uh, know I'm playing this on the Xbox. It just looks really good because the Xbox Series X really focused on backwards compatibility. So like everything looks amazing. Like this almost looks PC quality. Like it loads really fast. Like everything is great on it. Like in my opinion, this might be the best way to play Fallout 3 because the PC kind of sucks. Brotherhood is still do not play around. You guys clear them out while I search inventories. <clears throat> I'm gonna take the Nuka Cola truck to the house. That's 400 caps. Line congressional style. <clears throat> I probably should start putting some points into speech so I can actually pass them. See, LJ, what's my favorite DLC in all of the Fallout universe, huh? Like, I really want to say Point Lookout, but like, I didn't even say it was my favorite in this game, which is the pit, because I feel like the pit's just. Don't worry, I got the Rad Roach voice. Favorite DLC? Had to be a New Vegas DLC. I'm gonna go with Dead Money. I know a lot of people dislike Dead Money, but man, Dead Money, if you take it for what it is, it's a survival horror take on Fallout, and you play it like that, which is funny, because I hated Dead Money when I first played it. I do agree that the bomb collars, though, were a little extreme. Like, they should have been had, they should have gave a lot more lenience. DYP official, can I get a shout out for my band Sea Green? I don't know who Sea Green is, man. Thus, I don't do shout outs if I don't know who they are. <laughs>